Yo, 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 CPA Strength here, back with another video. My best video ever. Strongest license CPA in the state of Florida. Let's get in. This is my classic series, 130. We've got 130 accounting for beginners. This is the whole playlist over here. It has all my good stuff. Check it out, free cookie. Please like the video, comment on the video, share, subscribe, do what it does, cookies in the mail. DC Adler, this is what I'm, this is what I'm known for. Besides being strongest in the game, DC Adler. Debit, credit, asset, draw, expense, liability, equity, revenue. If asset, draw, expense are going up in value, you debit them. If asset, draw, expense are decreasing in value, you credit them. If liability, equity, revenue are increasing in value, you credit them. If liability, equity, revenue are decreasing in value, you debit them. Let's get this in. Here's common assets we have right here. Cash, office equipment, accounts receivable. This is things that, uh, journal entries we've done already and this little journal entries made easy. We're doing the Adams Family on April 1st. They open a business. <clears throat> it's April 11th, we're doing another journal entry. So in every single journal entry, you've got debits equaling credits. That's just always, 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 always going to be. Now in this one, as you can see in the bottom of the screen here, whoop, we have, we have our journal entry. We have our, our circumstances. We have what's going down. Paid cash for newspaper advertisement of $120. What do I always say? With journal entries do we have cash let's get the cash down and let's get that in paid cash of $120 paid cash for advertisement $120 paid cash we know cash is an asset if you pay cash here here I'm paying you cat here I'm paying you cash right here give me the advertisement you get cash I get advertisement so I'm paying you cash do we as a business have is our cash increasing or decreasing? Well, I'm paying you cash, so that means our cash is decreasing. So we have decreasing cash, decreasing, cash is an asset, so we have decreasing asset. If an asset's increasing, we debit it. If an asset is decreasing, we credit it. So we have cash as our credit of $120. That's gonna be our credit, that's an asset. We already have half of this done. And we know, we know whatever is all over here has to equal $120. Sometimes it is one or two things. This is for a newspaper advertisement, one single newspaper advertisement. So I would just probably just go ahead and say $120 over here. Now what a newspaper advertisement, we have an outlay of cash for a newspaper advertisement. Uh, you know, I just, I just kind of know, hey, that's an expense, that's a business expense. It's got to be in one of these six cat. You can go also like this. What is so? Why do we have cash going out of our business for an advertise for an advertisement? Okay, for an advertisement. Where would this go? You know, is it a liability? Are you liable? Are you liable for the advertisement? No, because I I just paid it. I paid it for the services right there. I'm not liable for it. I guess it could. You could almost think it's an asset, but it's only for a, it's only going to be for a month, and it's it's a small. I don't know how long they have uh, advertisements going for, but you got after just doing these for a long time. It's not revenue. You don't have money coming in. It's not really equity. It's not really retained earnings. It's not a draw because it's a biz. It's for a business. It's it's an expense to keep. The, it's an ordinary necessary expense to keep the business going as an advertisement. So after doing these for a while, you're just gonna know an advertisement is an expense. You have outgoing money for a necessary and ordinary business expense to keep the business going. It's gonna, it's gonna help you, it's gonna help you generate money. And it doesn't say for how long it is. I guess if it was advertisement for a year or whatever, it might be an asset and you could and you could and it would be you prepay. But it didn't say prepay, it just said you paid it all out. So it's gonna be an expense. So advertisement, advertising, and that's an expense. Now does that make sense? 
if you have an expense increase in value because they didn't have anything in the advertising advertising category now the advertising is going up so you have your you have your advertising category increasing in value you figured out advertising is an expense and it's going up in value so if an expense is increasing in value it's a debit so that does make sense here so yeah that's an expense I think this might be one of the first expenses we've done in this Adams family but anyways, you just gotta you just gotta really just keep on practicing, keep on practicing. And if you notice, uh, things could be a couple different. They like the expense could maybe be an asset, could maybe be this, could maybe be that. That's why I always say do the cash first for journal entries because cash is is what it is. If it's increasing, it's gonna be a debit. If it's decreasing, it's gonna be a credit. And most of the journal entries do have cash in them. Anyways, this is CPA Strength. I'm out. Until tomorrow, deuces.